Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am finally back with a new Free Looks One palette. It's been a pretty long while since I did it, but this takes a pretty long time. I'm going to try to film this pretty fast. <laughs> I don't know, and it takes a while to edit as well. But the palette I'm doing Free looks one palette with this time is Good Sports from Colourpop. I put up a voting thing in my community tab and I think that I will do that in the future instead of doing it up here because it takes such a long time between those Free looks one palettes. So I think I will do it in my community tab. So if you want me to do a certain palette, go into my community tab and vote. So okay. This time it is the good sports, good sport, good sport, good sport from Colourpop. It looks like this. I really like this palette. I don't really know why. Um, one shade I love is this ebb. But okay, we are going into the first look, and it will come a little review in the end. And if you only want to see the looks or a certain look or only the review, I will leave timestamps down in the description. So you can skip if you want to. So I'll zoom in and then we get started with the first look. So okay, I actually think I know what I want to do for the first look. I have done a pretty similar thing with... I wonder if it was Tropical Wonder from Certify. Almost the same, but I like... I love this combo, so I want to do it. I will start with Trooper, this yellow one, and put it in my crease. I haven't used this palette much at all, even though I really like the color scheme in it. I don't know why I haven't used it more. I have no idea. And if I look a little bit tired and... I don't know, I have pain in my back. I have been to a chiropractor. Chiropractor, chiropract, that sounds wrong, and uh, it's getting better, I got some exercises, my lower back, has my spine has been like this, so a little bit crooked, but it was not what this video was going to be about, I just wanted to, if I look a little bit tired and talk a little bit confusing and that's why. It feels like not that many people talk about this palette. Did I say that before? Here I am all over and I'm feeling a little bit stressed. In my get ready with me I talked about that I'm going away for two weeks and I wanted to pre-film a lot and I was in such a go good role with it. Then I became sick and then this thing with my back happened. So yeah. The yellow is down and now I think I will go in with sister and I will have this out here. Yeah, I will do a halo eye. And I like I say this the whole time. I don't like purple. But like purple and yellow is like a super nice combo. And I love yellow so can yeah, I actually think I will do the same on the side so I get the same size of the halo. And now I fucked it up from the start. I see that too. I don't know why this is so hard for me. This looks like a crooked halo. But you know what? I think we have to like live with it. Or maybe I'm going to try to fix it. Maybe it would be fixed if I cut the halo, but I really don't want to. I just think we have to live a little bit crooked halo. Halo, halo. 
And now I will take this Licious, 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 this gold one and put it in the halo. And I think that this will, this is a really creamy gold, so I hope it will stick. And as you see, it do. And this is what I don't get. If you've seen my Zodiac series, you know that I am not that impressed with the Zodiac palette from Colourpop. Because the shimmers in that one isn't like the shimmers in their other palettes. This shimmer is so much better. And I don't get it. And I don't know if I want to take the purple, the purple, the purple a little bit in my crease. And I don't know which one I like the best when I if I like the best when the halo is going like all the way up or if you cut the crease or if you have the like crease color over the halo I haven't decided but for me this have hooded eyes I think it, this is the better way to have like the halo the whole way up because when I looking straight forward when I'm looking down you can see it, but like if I'm looking straight forward you can't see like my crease. So if I would have cut, if I would have taken the, yep, oh my god. If I would have taken the purple the whole way in the crease, you would have, would have, you would not have seen the gold. What is up with me today? only thing with this gold I think it's like the fallouts is crazy with this and I have it like in all of my lash as normal I'm doing my base after and this is like the reason why because I want to mess around and it feels like I have gold all over the palette I don't know if you can see it but it's like spread all over the palette not a big fan of that but it is a really good shimmer shade. But I think I will go with this for my lids. It's not that even, but I think when I have like my base and everything on that it will look better than it do right now. And when I have the fallouts out, fallouts gone, my brows on, everything looks better with brows, I think. So yeah, I will do my base and my brows and then I come back and we do the under eyes. And yeah, we will finish up this first look. So I am back in time for the under eyes and I think I will just go in with sister, the purple one. And I like take this on my whole lower lash because I don't know how good the shimmer will be underneath my eyes. Some shimmers, they can be super good on the lid but when you try to take them underneath your eyes. They don't perform and like the crazy amount of fallout I had, it was so hard to get all like the glitters away. And I like hate when the looks are like this. They are like almost finished but no lashes or no mascara so it feels like the eyeshadow is taking over everything. So I will put on mascara, something in my waterline, I will take punch from Colourpop because I want to take something yellow there and then put on a lippy and I think I will take this one. Oh snap from Colourpop but we will see so I will just fix this. Okay so I changed my mind. I took this from Minardi Cosmetics. It is Acacia. Hope I pronounced it right. So this is my first finished look with a good sport. The good sport from Colourpop and I used Sister, this purple. I don't know why I have such a hard time with purple. Purple, this trooper, the yellow one, and this licious, this gold one. And I don't really know about the lips. I have like this purple and super like purple purple, but I didn't want like purple purple. So I took this. I don't know how it looks, but. Pairing lips with eyes is not my strong 
thing. But I like this look. I really like to mix gold and purple, but it doesn't feel like I have really done it like full on. So I am happy with this look and it will be so fun to see what I come up with next. I actually haven't tried all these shadows. I don't think I will do it. <laughs> In this free looks one palette but yeah i really hope you like this first look and if you want to see the other two looks just keep on watching so it is time for the second look with the good sport i always want to say good sports but the good sport palette from colourpop that looks like this and i think i know what i want to do i'm pretty sure i will start with high hopes this one and put it in my crease and I think I just want to use three colors for this look I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure and this is going to be a little bit darker look than the first one okay the first one was pretty dark as well or I don't know it maybe will be a darker look we would just have to wait and see. And I think in all of these three looks, I think I would use a shimmer because it is five shimmers in this palette. So I think I will use them all. No, not all, but I think I would use a shimmer shade in each of the looks because it's only 12 shades in this palette and 5 of them are shimmers so it feels like strange if I don't use a shimmer in all the looks. I'm always trying to like plan a little bit when it comes to my looks but it's not always that I do that. But with this free looks one palette I want to do like 3 different looks. Okay, so then I will take this one, Trophis, and I don't know how dark this is. And I haven't even swatched this. In my mind this is green, but I think it's maybe brown. But I will take it out here, and yeah, this is brown and not green. Maybe I should start to swatch shadows before. Okay, I changed the brush to a bigger brush. Maybe I should take the time for that so it doesn't like flop like this. Okay, I still think that it can be good. The one thing I had in mind for this look. I think I will take my crease brush with a little bit of color just to do like that. One of the cats is in here. And she has started to sleep on the wardrobes in here. In the bedroom. And she's not like that happy that I am recording in here. So no, she is like standing there. Looking at me. Jumping up in bed. It's a little bit not so happy about things. For you who doesn't know, I have the... You are standing on our bed. And I have a studio light there on the bed and one on the floor. And Elsa, I think she wants to lay down in the bed. And she usually lays down where I have the studio light. Not the happy camper right now. The big difference between our two cats is that Elsa, she is like... I want to be here, so you have to move. And Bodil, she is like... Oh, you're here! Then I also want to be here. I want to be with you, always. Okay, so something like that. And then I went to take my favorite color from this palette that is ebb and I'm going to take this in here of course but I don't know if I want to cut my crease but when I did in the first look I didn't need to do that so I'm not going to do it in this either I love this sheet so much 
Do you like see this? Do you see how amazing this is? And yes, I should just not let this take over, so I will go in with trophies. Put it over here a little bit. This shit is so amazing. And it doesn't take much for it to be like this. Just like dip it in once. So I think something like this. I really like this. Just yes, because I really love Ebb, that shade. So yeah, I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I will come back and we'll do the under eyes and I will see if I'm going to do something more fun maybe. I don't know. So I fix base and brows and then I will be back. So the base is on and for my under eyes, you can guess what I want to do maybe. I will take high hopes first and take it the whole lower lash, I at least think. And I have like already decided what I want what I want to take for lipstick. Maybe some of you can guess what it is that I want to take. And I will also take Trophis this one just to connect the lower lash with the lid, so just a little bit here. And then I actually think for my inner corner that I will take wild out this one and take it like down here and also like a little bit to ebb and I think I want to spray this maybe not I will try without spraying but I need a little mirror okay so I really hope because of these shimmers both ebb and the one I used in the previous look they like you know shimmers that really stick to the face and like I felt, oh, am I short? <laughs> I felt like as long as I tap it off, it doesn't fall everywhere. I think I like it better like this than sprayed because I still want Ebb to be like the star of this makeup. So I think I'm happy with the eyeshadow like this. I will put on mascara, something in my wash line and also a lippy and then I will come back with the finished second look. So this is the finished look and for all that you that guessed for Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star, you are right. I love this. And for my wash line I took the Ori Flash from Linda Holberg. Elsa is moving. So this is the look and I like this look mostly because I love Ebb. So the ones I have used is Wild Out, Trophies, Ebb and High Hopes. And I think this is going to be my favorite look just because I love Ebb. So I really hope you like this look and if you want to see my last look and the little review just keep on watching. So it's time for look number three and I think I want to do something that is a little bit more typical me maybe. So I will start with hooky this one and take it in my crease. I am just wondering if this is a little bit dark to have any crease maybe. But I will try. Okay, maybe a little dark, but it is okay. I really like this color actually. Take a little, little, little bit more just in here. Okay, so something like this and then I actually think in about taking I don't really know in which in normal case I would start with the light shade no the dark shade and light shade but I think I will do the opposite so I will take rookie rookie and put this in my crease and I don't think I've used this before 
but when I swatched it I was like this looks amazing so I will take it in here and this is like it I don't know if it's duochrome but it's not just like shimmer I can maybe swatch it for you I don't know if the swatch though will the camera will pick up it's like an orange shimmer but it has like pink and blue specks in it I don't know if you can see it but it looks amazing and this feels like ebb like as creamy as ebb do and I take it on almost my whole lid and first I was like I want to use all the shades in this palette for free look this free looks one palette but then I was like no I'm going to do what I want but I only think that it will be like I don't know I will have used like almost all the colors so okay and then I will go in with reckless this one and put it out there and this when I swatched this it felt kind of dry but I really hope it works with matte shades it doesn't feel like it matters if they are dry or not the only thing is I know that I will have like specks of the glitter for like three days so okay I will take away the fallouts fix my base and my brows and then I will be back and we'll do the under eyes and I think I will do almost the same, but I want to use one more, at least one more shade. Okay, I think I'm going to use all shades in this except for this flow. So yeah, I will fix my base and my brows and then I'll come back. Okay, so for my under eyes, I will start with Hookie. Okay. At least think. I will do that and take this under my eye but I will just take it like to here and then I will take something else okay and for my inner or in here I will take hooked this one and I don't know how this will look maybe this is a little bit dark but I will spray this Okay, maybe this was a little bit too dark, but... Okay, so I feel that I am finished like this. So I will put on mascara, some lipstick, something in my waterline, and then I will be back with the third look and also a little review of the good sport. Okay, so this is the finished look and I think this is my favorite. For my waterline I used Call Me by Colourpop and for my lips Better Off from Colourpop. I can never remember which one is Better Off and which is Liquid Courage, but this is Better Off. So yeah, this is the third look. I have so many things. For this one I used Hooked, Hooky, Rookie. And reckless so for these three looks I have used all the shades except flow I think so yeah this is the third look and I think this is maybe my favorite because I love like a red and orange and stuff like this so uh, let's just hop into the review part so what do I feel about the good sport palette from Colourpop we maybe can start with I think it's $16, maybe I should have looked this up. It is one of their 12 pan palettes and we have 5 shimmers and 7 mattes and I really really like this palette. I didn't, I don't remember who it was, maybe it was Paulina that did something with this and I was like that looks really good because when I have like checked on Colourpop's website I was never like intrigued by this but then Paulina talked about it and really liked it so I bought it and I have hair like everywhere 
So I bought it and I am really happy that I did because I really like it. I think this is one of my favorite palettes from Colourpop. And I feel that Sister Flow Reckless are a little bit drier when they come to the matte shadows and the other ones are like the same. So Trooper, Hookie High Hopes and Trophies, they are a little bit more creamier when they come to the shimmers. It is one shimmer that is like my one of my absolute favorite colors ever and that is Ebb. It's so creamy and it's so unique. Also Rookie is really really good and Luscious. These three I think I, I feel that they are a little bit more creamy and they are really really pigmented and you don't need any glitter glue or anything. In my first look I did a halo eye with the gold one, I didn't need any glitter glue. Hooked and Wild Out are like typical shimmers. They are not like this cream formula. And I don't know if you can see it if I zoom in on the palette. I think you can see that Ebb, Rookie and Licious are... You can see on them that they are creamier than the other two. Nothing wrong with any of them, but these three I think are so amazing. And this Rookie and Ebb, I think they are really unique. And yeah, I am so happy with this palette and I think you should buy it if you like the color story. I don't know if I miss anything with this. Maybe I'm not like super happy about these two. And But other than that... I like it. I think it's a pretty unique color story and I think it's it's fun without being like happy pastel rainbow. I think it's fun even though it's like more toned down fun. So yeah, I can really recommend this and I'm really happy that I bought it and for the price it is amazing. I'm not like in love with the package of this. Maybe that is my only complaint. Other than that, I really really like this palette. I think it's so good and if you have like checked, checked it out but has been like, I don't need it, just pull the trigger. It's so good. If you want it and if you have the money. If you don't, don't buy it. So I can really recommend this and I really hope you like this free looks one palette and I will try to make them more often but it takes a while to do them. And which one was your favorite look? I don't know if it was the second look or if it's this look. I love the second look because of Ebb, but I love this look because it's like my favorite colors. There is actually one thing I remember that I... Maybe it's not negative, but just a little side note. The shimmer shades, they fall a lot and they like stick to your face. So if you don't want that, be careful. Be really careful because I have been out <laughs> with some specs from Ebb for like two days, maybe three days, and I can't get it off. So just keep that in mind that they fall a lot and like you really stick to your face. But Ebb is amazing, so I really hope you like this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!